Hello and welcome to another video. My name's David and this time we're going to take a look at a couple of different methods that we can use to apply a vignette with Affinity Photo. We're going to start using the live filter. Then we're going to have a look at my favourite method which is going to be completely adjustable. Right, let's make a start with the live filter. Now first things first, make sure you are not on an adjustment layer. Also, this layer here, yes, it's a pixel layer. It's what I call my cleanup layer. It's where I've used the in-paint brush just to remove a couple of blemishes. Instead, come down to the background layer, or if you've stamped layers together, make sure you select that stamped layer. Next, heading down to this little icon, the live filter. When you click on it, you'll probably get a fly up menu. It is right the way down the bottom. You will find vignette, or you can head up to layer, coming down to new live filter layer. It is in with colors. There it is, vignette. Notice the way it's grouped itself. It's nested itself in with this layer. Let's lift it up. Right, with the exposure, if I move this to the right, we get a light vignette. If we move it to the left, we get a dark vignette. I'm going to drop it right the way down for just a moment. Hardness. Let's take it right the way up to 100%. So we've now got a very hard edge. Scale. This is the size. We can drop it right the way down. And if I come to shape, we now get the ellipse shape. And you can go right the way down to a very, very narrow ellipse. I'm going to take it for this particular image to 100%. Scale. I'm going to bring this back. This particular image, being as it's bright at the top, I want to keep it off the edge here. So I want this to be clear. I also want the water with this particular image also to be clear. So I'm going to take this up. When I mean clear, I mean clear of the vignette. Right, let's move this across. I'm going to take it. Let's go all the way up to this area here. I'm just looking because I know with this, yeah, let's go for 100%. Because when we come to the hardness, I'm now going to bring it in. So we're now going to feather that really hard edge. And as I start to bring it down, let's just take a look. There it is. You can see the feather coming across as it's uh, applying the softer edge. Let's take it a touch further like that. That looks really good. OK, now the exposure. We're going to drop this back. Now, the one thing with a vignette, you do not want to make the, uh, the vignette sort of look as if you've applied something. So it needs to be quite subtle. Let's take it up a touch more, perhaps something like this. You can come down to the little tick box. You can switch it off. There it is. Switch it back on. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to click on the little cross to accept it. Now, I love using vignette and anybody that knows me with Photoshop. Yes, I apply it to virtually all of my pictures. What I like with this particular one, if we look at it, if I just switch it off. Yes, you've got this lovely cloud structure. You've got these three uh, sort of peninsulas coming out, snow covered, look really good. Then you come over to this area. You've got the moon at the top. You've got these lovely colors and this cloud structure here. Then you've got this bright spot. Once you've seen it, your eye goes straight to it. If you put a vignette on it, there it is. You are now holding the viewer's attention around this area here. And it's for this reason that I like using vignettes. Back to this particular one. The reason, of course, I've kept the top here clear and the bottom. I want the water and the clouds. There it is, nice and bright and bright in the water there just to match up. Fold it up out of the way. Notice the way it's gone to the side. So when you look at this layer, you know that you've applied a live filter to it. With this, with a live filter, you can save it. You can come back. You can reopen it. It's a bit like using a smart object in Photoshop and you can go through it. You can readjust it should you want to. Right. That's the first method. Let's take a look at this one. Now, this is a stock image. If I just come over to my stock tab, and if I come to, it was on Pixbay and my search criteria was uh, Cuba. And just waiting for it a second. There it is. It's this guy here. So this is the image I have used. If you haven't got your stock tab, you will find it under view. Go down to studio, cross, and there you'll find stock. Right, let's head back over to layers. Now with this, you don't need to make sure you're on any particular layer, but what you do need to make sure of is you come across to the toolbox and you pick up the ellipse tool. Incidentally, round rectangle. That makes a really good vignette as well. But for this particular one, the ellipse tool, clicking down, dragging it out over our image like this. 
next thing we need to do is head up to the blend mode. I'm going to change it from normal. We're going to come right the way down to the bottom and we're going to click on erase. Next adjustment layer. I'm going to go down to hue saturation and luminance. Just moving it to the side for one second. Coming to the ellipse layer. So we've now clicked on this. I'm now going to lift it up and I'm looking for that blue line going between the thumbnail and across. Now notice how it's disappeared as well. That means it's now sort of docked in with it. It's now nested. It's now grouped itself in. Coming back to hue saturation and luminance. I like using this because what we can do is we can move it this way and we've got a light vignette or move it this way. We have now got a dark vignette. Notice hard edge to it. Let's just accept it by clicking on little cross for a moment. Coming down to the ellipse. We're now going to go back down to a live filter. We're going to go straight to Gaussian blur at the top. Just lifting this up so we can see what's going to happen. I love using this. Notice the way it's gone off completely. That's because we've got a radius of zero pixels. Let's take it up as we start to take it up. Notice the way that that hard edge is now being feathered. I'm going to go right the way to 100 pixels, but I'd like more. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my cursor between the two zeros. We're going to click down. I'm now going to delete and I'm going to put in five. So we're now going to feather it by 150 pixels. But don't click that little cross just yet. Instead, you need to click down. Notice the way it's now feathered out. Now I've got a blue box around there. It has now been applied. But do not touch this slide. If you touch it, it'll go back to 100%. Right, now we can accept it. We can fold this up out of the way. Let's come to this layer here. I'm going to pick up the move tool. So I'm going to press V on the keyboard. What I like with this is we can now move it around into any position. Let's put it something like this. You may want to just drag it down and there it is. Or with this image, why not be a little bit more adventurous? Love the way he's looking up. So I'm just going to make the vignette a little bit smaller for the moment. Let's bring it over here. Let's just uh, move it around like that into this sort of area, just out over his hat, perhaps just in a little bit like this, just lifting it up a touch more. That'll do nicely. Just coming back to the HSL layer, the hue saturation luminance. And if we click on this, I'm just going to bring this back in like this here would be pretty good. If we just switch it off, you can see there it is quite a bright background. If we just switch it on, close this down, you can always come as well to the opacity slider and you can drop that down a touch or two just to blend in a little bit further. Should you want to fold it up out of the way, switching it off and on job done. So there it is. There's two different ways of applying a vignette with Affinity Photo. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it the thumbs up if you have. Don't forget to subscribe. Plenty more videos to come and click that little bell icon. That way you'll receive a notification every time a new video is posted. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.